One, circumcision is extremely painful and traumatic, causes some infants to go into shock, results in behavioral and neurological changes, and no anesthetic effectively prevents circumcision pain. Two, circumcision is associated with over 20 different potential complications, including heavy bleeding, infection, surgical injury, and in rare cases, death. Three, the foreskin on the average adult male is about 12 square inches of highly erogenous tissue, which protects the head of the penis, enhances sexual pleasure, and facilitates intercourse. Circumcision advocates who are doctors have admitted they do not know the functions of the foreskin. Four, no national medical organization in the world recommends circumcision. Five, circumcision is associated with erectile dysfunction in the medical literature. A preliminary study found that circumcised men were four and a half times more likely to use an erectile dysfunction drug. I understood the effects of circumcision slowly, um, I think, uh, Right, right around when I hit puberty, around uh, 10, 11, 12, I started to realize more things that oh, the, the glands, the head of the penis should be covered. Um, I also uh, experienced like, difficulties mas masturbating. And my first experience, I was bleeding and, and chafing. So I. I didn't consciously understand that it was because of circumcision, but I started to notice all these uh, bad effects. And then once, I think once I saw the moil when I was 16, I understood, I connected them. I, I realized, like, this is what they did. These are the effects. A lot of people I know, growing up, when you talk about masturbation, like, oh, it bleeds every time. Because the skin is so tight, and they remove so much skin that the skin tears or erections were really painful because the skin is tight and cannot accommodate the penis when it is fully erect. Now they don't know that this was caused by circumcision. They just think this is normal. I had been searching for a reason why I was having these physical issues and every doctor and psychologist that I went to, I went to more than one, told me that these issues are all in your head. Nobody even suggested any thought about circumcision and me being a traumatized human, I did not connect the dots. I knew I was circumcised, but I did not think that this could have any way caused me issues. I don't know why I didn't think that, but um, that was part of the brainwashing. במשגל וגינלי. הם חייבים עוננות. וזה נובע מכך שכמעט לא נשארו להם רצפטורים מרגישים למגע. פשוט אין שם לחץ. זה בדרך כלל באזור של הצלקת של הפרנולום. שם צריך להיות מופע לחץ. הם צריכים גירוי ידני מאוד ממוקד וחזק בשביל להרגיע לאורגזמה. רק כשאנשים כאלה באים לסקסולוגים, במקום להגיד להם, רבותיי, יש לכם איבר מין פגום בגלל מה שעשו לכם בגיל שמונה ימים או באיזה גיל שעשו לכם את זה, ואתם אה, תצטרכו לחיות עם זה ככה, זה, וזה לא אשמתכם, הם אומרים להם, תלמדו, תנסו, אולי אתם לא חושבים נכון, לא מתרכזים נכון, יש לכם בעיה פסיכולוגית, כמו אימפוטנציה. כמובן שהסקסולוגים לא תפסו את הבעיה. הם בכלל לא מודעים לכך שהעורלה זה דבר שחסר. Circumcision is nothing less and nothing more than genital mutilation, male genital mutilation, in this case that we're discussing here, removal of not just a useless snip of skin or, any, or, or a part of the, of the penis, but it is, the, it is the destruction and removal of the entire sacred realm of sensuality. It is, it is the structure of the, in, the internal organ. Most people don't realize this but the, in this country, but the penis is an internal organ, which is, consists of mucosa, mucous membrane, an internal environment. The foreskin consists of 15 square inches of erogenous tissue that is the center of sexuality and it is quite comparable to the internal genitalia of a girl or a woman. You know, we talked about it a lot between us. What happens if we have a child? Unfortunately, it's not a child in a way, and we don't have this issue. But 
אנחנו באמת חשבנו שאולי אנחנו לא נעשה את זה, ואז שאמרנו אולי לא נבצע את הברית, חשבנו ישר מה באמת הדבר הידוע, מה יקרה לו בבית ספר. המקלחת בצופים. ובא, ובצבא ובסופים ו- ולפני זה. ו- זה לא מטריד אותך. לפני 11 שנה זה הטריד אותי, כשהתחלתי לחקור את, ה- את הנושא, כשהיא... ואני מלתי גם את שני ילדיי, אני לא בטוח שהם... אני חושב שהשאלה שה- הזאת של מה יקרה לו במקלחת, מה יקרה לו בצבא, צריכה לבוא אחרי שלומדים וחוקרים את הנושא עצמו. זאת אומרת, אחת הבעיות שחס... שבחברה הישראלית זה שלא, ההורים לא לומדים מה המשמעות של העורלה, מה המשמעות של האנטומיה הטבעית של איבר המין השלם של, של הילד, לפני שהם הולכים וכורתים את העורלה. לה, והם עושים את הכריתה של העולם מתוך פחד, מתוך הפחד של מה יהיה, לפני שהם לומדים על המשמעות האנטומית של, של הדבר הזה. הרי הזכרים נולדים עם העורלה. אז קודם כל העורלה היא האזור חישה העיקרי באיבר המין של הזכר. זאת אומרת, הריכוז הכי גבוה של עצבים, של קצות עצבים שרגישים למגע מיני, נמצאים בעורלה. בסדר, יהודים עדיין נהנים מהמגע הזה. יהודים מה, עדיין מה, נהנים, מה אבל הם יכולים ליהנות הרבה יותר. <coughs> אם אתה לוקח וכורת את החלק הכי רגיש באיבר המין מ- אה, למגע מיני, ואתה אה, חושף את העטרה שבאופן טבעי אמורה להיות... מוגנת בעורלה, אתה משנה באופן אנטומי את האיבר ואתה משנה את המכניקה של המשגל. האימפקט שיש לזה מבחינת ההנאה המינית, גם על הגבר וגם על האישה, הוא עצום. I've realized that circumcision desensitizes you. And when you get older, there's a natural desensitization also. So suddenly it adds up and uh, it, it, it gets to be a problem. I'm Jewish myself. Both my parents are Jewish. Uh, and I was circumcised as a baby boy. And I can confirm what, what Christian was saying, that me and several of my Jewish friends can confirm that uh, uh, there, will be, there will be troubles in due time with uh, circumcision, even if you are circumcised as a baby. Then they say it won't affect your son's sex life, but this is contradicted by the AAP 1999 reported more varied sexual practices in circumcised men and less sensation and satisfaction. It removes half the penile covering, it's replete with nerves, highly er- erogenous, it's the most sensitive part of the penis. Men who restore report improved sex lives, so it does affect sensitivity. This is not part of a medical license to cause pain and reduce pleasure. It's a fraud. Multiple studies describe the sexual harm. Circumcision removes about a third of the erogenous tissue on the penile shaft, including several kinds of specialized nerves, resulting in thickening and progressive desensitization of exposed erogenous tissue. The adult foreskin is a double layer. Movable sleeve of approximately 75 square centimeters. It protects the penile head, enhances sexual pleasure, and facilitates intercourse. One man compared having sex after an adult circumcision to, quote, seeing in black and white instead of seeing in color, unquote. Research shows that circumcised men are more likely to have erectile dysfunction, orgasm difficulties, and premature ejaculation. They are 4.5 times more likely to use erectile dysfunction drugs. Female partners of circumcised men have more problems with sexual function, fulfillment, and painful intercourse. Several medical societies recognize the long-term psychological effects of circumcision. Based on the collective responses of thousands of men, These effects include anger toward parents and others, sense of loss, shame, fear, distrust, grief, relationship difficulties, depression, sexual anxieties, reduced emotional expression, and empathy, low self-esteem, and avoidance of intimacy. Many of these circumcised men wish they had been given a choice at a later time rather than having it forced on them when they were too young to resist.